Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you our baby weaning journey. So if you're new over here, I'm a mom of two, I have a two year old and I have a six month old. So you guys have caught us right in the middle of weaning. Probably the best time to be sharing with you everything from our method, what we are feeding my little one and everything from do's and don'ts and hints and tips that I have picked up along the way. So baby weaning is all about giving your little one complementary meals and nutrients alongside their main milk. So whether that may be breast milk or formula. So I will be honest with you, I found the whole process when I was a first time mom and I had Jacob to be really daunting. I remember he was about four or five months old and I felt like I didn't know enough about baby weaning and I had to have a plan. So I put him in his push chair and I would walk around the block for like hours getting him to nap whilst I was reading two books simultaneously on baby weaning so that I would educate myself enough to be able to make the right decisions. Now that I'm on my second baby and I have gained quite a bit of experience, I feel like I have got a simple and basic version of baby weaning that I wanna share with you guys. So if you are a first time parent and you're about to embark on this baby weaning journey, then you are probably thinking of a lot of things like do I want to spoon feed my baby, do I want to do baby led weaning, am I going to start at 4 months or 5 months or 6 months and am I going to give them lots of different things to try in the beginning or am I, am I going to follow a staggered approach. There are so many things like I said it can be super overwhelming but today I want to share with you our simplified basic version that has worked for me and my family. So I really hope you enjoy today's video. So the first thing you want to be thinking about is at what age do you want to wean your baby? There are so many different schools of thought out there but the most that you hear about is anything between the age of four to six months. However, anything before four months is definitely not advisable because your baby's digestive system has not fully formed yet. For me and in my experience, I went with around about the five and a half month mark, but I looked for signs to see whether they were ready or not. And the first thing for me was, are they actually sitting up? So are they in a position where I can actually feed them? And I felt like, and I don't know if this was psychological or not, but if they were sitting up, then there was less chances of them choking because they could actually hold their head up. So that was the first thing for me. The second thing was curiosity when it came to food. But the main thing as well was the hand to mouth coordination. So when they were getting to the stage where they could put stuff to their mouth, then I kind of thought that that was another sign to say that they were ready for weaning. I would definitely consult with your GP or your pediatrician on that one because I feel like every baby is different and they all develop at different stages. Okay, so the next one for me was quite a biggie and it took me a while to decide on the method that I wanted to use to wean my baby. So whether that was spoon feeding or BLW, baby led weaning. Spoon feeding is self-explanatory. You are basically pureeing uh, your fruits and your vegetables and your food into a smooth, gentle texture that you then build up gradually into more of a chunky texture, but you are using a spoon. So you are in control of how your baby's eating, how much they're eating and what they're eating. BLW, baby led weaning, is more about giving them finger food so they have more control over how much, how often and what they are choosing to pick and eat. Both of these methods have their pros and cons. So let's take spoon feeding for example. The pros here are that you are going to be the one that is in control of how much nutrients and quantity of food is going into their mouth. However, on the flip side of things, they're also going to be missing out on the motor skills experience and developing the hand to mouth coordination because you're having to do it for them. A lot of people also say that when you are pureeing um, your veggies and your fruits into a yogurt like consistency, then you're not giving them the real experience of what that fruit and veg actually feels like in terms of textures. And there's also the fact that you're having to puree and mash, which takes a lot of time. And then we come into BLW or baby led weaning. So the pros here are that you're encouraging your baby to develop those fine motor skills of hand to mouth coordination. And you're also giving your baby the experience of foods as they are. So they are experiencing the textures as fruit and veg comes in. However, the cons to this are, a lot of people say that food before one is just for fun. That's actually a myth because your baby does need a lot of critical nutrients when they hit the age of six months. So you're not gonna be in control of how much and what they're getting if you're following the BLW. And also you've got the side of what if your baby is slower at developing their motor skills? What if they don't have the ability to do hand to mouth? 
in that case they're not going to get much food at all so what i decided as a mom after reading both of those scenarios is that i wanted to follow a combination of both of those so basically i puree a lot of fruit and veggies for amaya at the minute but i also give her a stem of say for example it's broccoli that she's having i'll also give her a little bit of broccoli that is usually about five to six centimeters in length that I steam alongside her puree and I give it to her to hand. So she has got the best of both worlds. I don't believe there is one size fits all. I think every baby and every family are gonna be different in how they approach and what method they use. It all needs to be about how your baby is developing, what you feel is right for them. But the most important thing for me when it came to my two little ones was variety. I focused on getting as many fruits and veggies for them to experience in the first month as possible because I wanted their palate to get used to as many flavors. All they knew was milk, which is super sweet. So it was really important for me to try and get them to experience bitter and sour and really a bit of everything. So we have covered at what age to start weaning your baby and the types of methods. I'm now gonna get into first taste what we gave Amaya and at what time of the day that we chose to give her her first meals. Just before I get into that I would definitely want to advise you to google a list of foods that you are not recommended to give to your baby before the age of 12 months. A lot of the ones that are obvious are things like honey and rice milk, um, smoked and cured meats, what else? There are certain types of fish like swordfish and um, shark that are high in mercury. But there are other things that I actually wasn't aware of. Um, dairy products that are unpasteurized is another one. Something else as well you want to think about is their salt intake. So babies are not meant to have more than one gram of salt a day. And they actually will get that if you are giving them cheese and bread um, at whatever stage of the weaning process. So you don't need to add any additional salt into their cooking. And it's the same with things like fruit juices and artificial official sugars but just in case I've forgotten to mention any of the other ones please make sure that you are googling the list of what not to give your baby before the age of 12 months. So someone woke up from their nap a bit earlier and they're going to join me in filming the next part of this video so let's get right into weaning. The first thing I want to start with is equipment. Okay so my first recommendation has to be this Bayaba baby cook steamer and blender. I used it with both of my kids it's an absolute dream and you can prepare a meal in minutes. Another thing I want to talk about are these trays. They are from a brand called Nook and they're freezer trays that you just pop the purees in and because they're made of silicone, you can easily pop them out again. I am using Tommy Tippy containers for my purees as well and I would also mention the Bamboo Bamboo range for cutlery and plates. Let's talk about first tastes. So I started both of my babies on veggies as their first ever solid and the reason I did that they naturally have a sweet tooth because of the taste of milk so I wanted them to explore other flavours such as bitter and sour. So for the first week we started with root vegetables. I also felt that vegetables were a little bit gentler on their tummies than any other food to begin with. So first week was all about sweet potato, cauliflower, broccoli, butternut squash and carrots. So these were the first five vegetables that we started on week one. Now it's recommended that you start with one single flavour each day. You want to do that for two reasons. You want to watch out for any allergic reactions that they have. So for example, you might want to pick, I don't know, sweet potato as the first ever taste you give them. You want to give them sweet potato for that day and nothing else so that you're looking out for any allergic reactions, but you also want them to identify each single flavour by itself. They are being introduced to this vegetable for the first time in their lives, so you want them to taste sweet potato by itself so that they can identify with that one flavour. Oh, 
Both of my babies were completely different to one another. Jacob was a lot more fussier. He wasn't holding the spoon in the beginning. Amaya is the complete opposite. She's loving everything I have given her so far and she likes to take charge. She grabs onto that spoon, grabs onto everything and just straight away into our mouth. Every baby's different, so please do not compare. In terms of preparation, as I mentioned before, I am using a steamer. I feel like it's the best way to hold on to as many of those nutrients as possible. So I would steam my fruits or my veggies and I would then blend them into, I wanna say, a yogurt-like consistency. Remember, your baby hasn't actually had anything in their mouth other than milk, so you want them to have a pleasant first experience, so try and make it as smooth as possible. And please don't panic if your baby doesn't take well or quick enough to solids in the beginning. It can take up to 15 attempts for your baby to like one type of flavor or one food. So again, this is all about them experiencing flavors. They are still getting majority of their nutrients from breast milk or formula, but you just wanna make sure that it's an experience that you and your baby are enjoying. So don't rush it and don't feel like you are worried or you're trying to put pressure on them or yourself to eat. In terms of storage, Amaya takes up half of the freezer with her purees, but I like to keep things organized. So once I've frozen the puree in the trays, I pop them into Ziploc bags, pop a label on them with the date. Things can get really confusing, especially if you're either tired or the vegetables all end up being the same color. So it's really handy to have everything labeled. When it comes to time of the day of when you are gonna give baby their meals or their solids, make sure that you are picking a time where they are alert so that they are happy and not too grouchy, just to make sure the experience is enjoyable for everyone. You don't want to give it to them directly before a nap. You also wanna make sure that they're not too full but not too hungry from their milk. And I would definitely say to try earlier on in the day rather than later, just so that you can keep an eye on them in case of any allergic reactions. Because if they are gone to bed, then you will not be able to notice any of these things. And I would definitely say that never substitute any of their milk feeds with solids. Remember, majority of their nutrients is coming from milk that they are taking in. So don't substitute a milk feed for a solid feed. For me, the best time of the day was 10.30 in the morning. So Amaya would typically wake up at around 6, 6.30, she would have her milk feed and then she would have a nap after that. So it's basically when she woke up from her morning nap, I gave her another feed, a milk feed, and then waited around half an hour and then I gave her the solids. And that was basically the same time every day for that week. That's another thing that you wanna be consistent with because they are gonna start looking forward to that time. Babies are great when it comes to routine and structure. So they will be looking forward to that meal and you are basically setting that time as their breakfast time going forward. Okay, so we're now on to week two. Let's recap on week one. That was all about first tastes. So I picked a handful of veggies, mainly root veggies, that I was giving her as single flavors every day. 10.30 and it was one meal a day. On to week two, I have now introduced fruits, which is super fun because it just gives you more variety to choose from. Every day I did the same as I did week one. I would pick a handful of fruits and I would give her single flavors every day, except this time I've added a second meal. So we are now giving Amaya breakfast and that is usually about half an hour to an hour after her milk feed in the morning. So say she wakes up between 6 and 6.30, I would give her her milk feed straight away and then I would wait half an hour to an hour before I give her breakfast. And then I'm continuing the 10.30 and I count that as lunch now where I give her veggies. I've introduced new ones as well like courgette, peas, spinach and also you can start combining. So if you've introduced things as single flavours, you can start mixing them together which again makes it even more fun for them. And finally, on to week three to four of our weaning journey. This is exactly where we're at right now as I am filming this video. So this week for us has been about more new flavors, single flavors of veggies and fruits. 
more combinations. This girl is absolutely loving all these flavors that she's experiencing. And we also decided to add a third meal of the day, which is around five o'clock. So I felt like for a while, every time we sat to have our dinner, Amaya was a little bit grouchy and fussy. And we figured that because we're doing a bit of baby led weaning and a bit of purees, it was easy enough to pop her in her chair and literally give her a steamed batten of say broccoli. And when we first did it, we actually saw that she was loving it and it kept her really happy and quiet so we could all have dinner as well. So we just reintroduced another meal. So she is now having her breakfast, lunch and dinner and she absolutely loved it. She has the appetite for it. And as I mentioned before, I do not substitute any of her milk feeds for the solids. She is still having the same number of milk feeds as she was before, just with the addition of the solids. So I find that the third meal of the day has definitely worked really well for us. It didn't with Jacob in the beginning. He stayed on two meals a day until I would say about month seven, seven and a half. But of course, every child is different. When it comes to next steps, we are so happy with how Amaya is doing in her first month with fruits and veggies that we are gonna wait till about month seven and a half, I wanna say, before we start adding anything like meat, fish, and eggs. But I will definitely be updating you with another video. It can be the sequel to this one over on my channel. So that brings me to the end of our video today, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw today, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments for me on how you went on to do baby weaning, any thoughts any ideas for other viewers definitely leave them in the comments box below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more videos from me and my family then click on the red button below and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in our next video bye